The city of Lompoc has a rich high school football tradition. As Friday Football Focus reporter Reed Harmon tells us, DeVille the Joker Dickerson added a colorful and memorable chapter to the Braves history book. What does home mean to you? Growing up with kids from all sorts of backgrounds, a lot of our friends came in through the base. My longest times friends, I met in football. I met when I played for the Lions. I had to be like eight years old. But for a city like Lompoc, with a population just over 40,000, home here is home forever. Wow. If I had to narrow it down to one word, I think it's pride. It's pride in, in, uh, in your city, in your town. The city that sits in a pocket of the central coast has that small town feeling. We have a little of the ag culture with all the farming, but we also are on the cutting edge of space. Ten, nine. I grew up on those. I remember as a kid when they do night night launches, you used to kind of scare me, uh, and I go run in the house. Six, five, but you know, you got you get over that pretty quick because they, they're always happening. But there is one other tradition that continues to launch the community Two, to new heights. One <laughs> touchdown, Lompoc football and launching rockets. Another popular spot to be, especially on a Friday night is Lompoc football. Let's go Braves! Every Friday night we were at every game. My dad took me to every game. We hear the band practicing in the morning. We hear, you know, football uh, practice in the afternoon. We can see the lights on. If we're not at the game, we can see the lights and hear the cheers. And in the city, DeVille Dickerson, known as Joker, makes the small town atmosphere feel unbounded. And no, his home is not the end zone, even though it seems like he's moved around the world just as many times as he scored touchdowns. He's lived in Hawaii, Japan, Washington, and California twice. Joker is part of a military family, so he's lived through adversity. You know, he's not any one place. I tell him, we talk about it all the time. Like, don't get too involved in, in one place. Uh, football gives you all these skills in life that you don't know, you don't see until like your high school years. As for why he's called Joker. When he's off the field, he's the quietest person probably with me when he's on the field. A little bit different. Uh, a lot of military, military kids, you know, develop some kind of shell or other personality, and so that's his. His vision is always looking ahead. Peter, Peter. Whether it's the green grass in front of him <laughs> or the future he holds for himself. That, that teaches you the small things in life, like adversity and what you have to go through, working with people, working with people that you might not like, but you have to put through it because you guys are a team. <laughs> Everyone says something is impossible until someone does it. Like the Idaho State commit breaking a 30-year-old school record for most career return touchdowns. DeVille Dickerson. There's a rich you know, legacy here, and so what Joker has done is just come and add to that. He's bought in, he's bought into it. You know, he's a once in every 10 year type of guy to be able to coach, you know. And kids looking up at those Friday night lights hope to continue the legacy. The blue and white, I mean, it's just a tradition of excellence. Joker strives for that excellence. Right now, what happens when everything isn't going your way? Like, what are you going to do? Are you, like, you going to quit? Not Joker and not Lompoc. <laughs> Thank you, Reed. We'll be right back.